Welcome! In front of me is an iPhone 14 Pro Max and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So anyway, let's just begin by going into the control center. As you can see, there's a bunch of different toggles right here. And we can actually access a little bit more than we have visible right here. So as an example, under brightness, we have a couple options if you hold it. And so give you obviously the brightness slider, right? But it also gives you the access to dark mode, night shift, and also true tone. So you can quickly change some of them if you want to, I don't know, change them like on the go, for instance, dark mode, which obviously is another thing that I want to show you, which is well, dark mode. And this, well, honestly looks like it didn't change anything almost. Let me quickly just make sure. If I disable it. So it does change the bio, like the filling right here of this. Obviously, one thing that it will change is default application. So now that I have changed it, if I open up something like settings, as you can see, it's now in dark mode. Uh, also, a bunch of the default applications, or all of, almost all of them, are now in dark mode. So there we go. Now moving on to the next option that I want to show you. Uh, it's going to be associated with installing a bunch of apps. As you can see, uh, all my apps right here are just like smack in the middle of the home screen, all added just the way I was installing them. But you can navigate into the settings before you start like downloading your apps or maybe even after if you're planning to like test out different apps. And you can navigate into your home screen section. So right over here where you'll find newly downloaded apps get put on into, for instance, app library only, meaning that they will be visible only in here. So the app library and won't be cluttering your home screen so much. A bit of a more convenient way of organizing your applications because they do get sorted, as you can see. We have uh, recently added, suggested, other, utility, photos, videos, social. So they have categories and those apps will be placed in them. So there we go. Now, another thing that I want to show you uh, when it comes down to organizing your home screen is the uh, moving your applications. Now, normally when you hold your app and you just drag it, it everything goes into like this jiggly mode. So if you wanted to normally move an application from one page to another, you just grab it, drag it over and drop it. But what you can also do is just hold it. And then obviously, the most part, you probably want to move more than just one up. So what you can do is while holding this one up, tap on additional ones. So as an example, I can just grab all the games right now. There we go. There's some here as well. I think that's all. So 26 them and I can just swipe to the side. And for instance, oh, that's newly added. Well, oh, there is no games folder. I guess I can just drop it right here. Boom, there we go. And now, as you can see, all the apps are fin gone from here and I have just a little bit more organized device. Now, let's move over to the next one which also will be on a home screen and this is just a one-handed mode so if you have the need to just access your phone while only using one hand you can quickly do this by just swiping down right here so like from this portion just quick swipe down all the way and it extends your phone or technically moves the display from top to bottom not sure why i just closed it automatically there we go and you can also access things like your control center though it does not want to cooperate in this kind of way so it just turns off the one-handed mode as you can see kind of dumb in a way but still it allows you to reach apps uh, just by holding the phone in one hand pretty easily right so there we go i can easily reach everything right here even the control center so there we go anyway moving on to the next one it's going to be customization of your home slash lock screen now my home screen has like very bland wallpaper but i can change it so anyway let's lock the device and then hold your finger on the lock screen let's do it again 
it will tell me to put in my passcode. I'm gonna do so, and then it goes into this uh, editing mode right here. So uh, we have a bunch of like pre-made uh, options right here for home screen and uh, lock screens. You can also create your own right here because you do have the options to change like clocks and stuff like that. Um, so let's go into customize. Here it asks me, how oh, do I want to uh, change wallpaper for home screen, lock screen? You can go for instance right here and choose a wallpaper from my library. I just select this one and choose done. There we go. I can also add a blur to it if I wanted to. So there we go, I'm gonna select done. And then I'll just press on it to uh, change that wallpaper on my home screen. Normally, if you go through settings, you would need to change for both home screen and lock screen wallpaper, but this way you can change it only on one. You can also, let's see, you should be able to edit this. Remember, I was just able to hold it and it would change, but I guess it doesn't want to work here anymore. No, I'm not gonna mess around with it. You can try it out yourself. So anyway, let's move over to the next one. Um, and also, I believe the last one. So what I want to touch upon is something that I won't be able to show, uh, which is the magic eraser. This allows you to edit your photos See, there's two things that I'm actually gonna show you. One that actually still works. But for this, I'm gonna before I'm gonna capture a photo first. Set up later. There we go. Hopefully, this is a good enough photo. So uh, I have just captured a photo of the plant, but. Now going into our photos, where's my little plant? Ah, there we go. So as you can see, there's my plant uh, and a bunch of other things. But what you can do is right now, for instance, hold this plant. For some reason, it selected the plant and the keyboard. But as you can see, it kind of like lifts it up. And from here, you can, for instance, select share. And this will allow me to save just this cropped portion. So save image as an example. And it added a new image. And there we go. Now it didn't do a fantastic job at cropping it to be completely honest. I'm gonna try one more photo just so I can give this uh, option a little bit more to work with. A little bit better result. Because this one was actually really bad. In general, this option works really well. There we go. Now let me just I flip it. I guess it's already flipped. Let's see. Hmm. How do I rotate it? Oh, there we go. Now that I get that, we can now hold this. Result. There we go. As you can see, it's selected it the same way. Now it's not giving me that pop-up right here, so let's try it again. There we go. Now we can select share, save image. And now we actually got a decent result right here of just the plant itself without any kind of like weirdness that happened right here. This also works with people. Uh, I think I have it in like hidden. Let me quickly see. I'm going to navigate into photos just to show you. I just literally seen this. Okay, so this was the example I did before, but I can do it again. So you can, can hold it, share, save, and it will crop this dude completely out of here. And there we go. So as you can see, he's cropped completely out of the photo uh, before we had the white background now there's like nothing around him so you can just paste this whatever you want uh, if you zoom in you will see that it's not as great uh, as you can see some like 
not the best uh, cropping ability right here but it is done really quickly and automatically so some here but for the most part this is really good for something that just requires you to hold the image uh, and it just crops it instantly entire thing it's pretty decent so that's another thing and one more thing that i wanted to show which i can't is the magic eraser which should be accessible by just opening up something like a photo selecting edit and having tools option right here in between which would include under tools the magic eraser but the magic eraser decided to uh, magically erase itself out of existence and it's not here and honestly i have no idea where it went i've done the iphone 14 on different ones and it was there where the heck is this one so normally it should be somewhere like there should be an option between the auto and exposure there should be a option called tools and in tools you'll find below magic eraser which you just press and then circle around the thing that you want to just completely remove it will crop it completely and try to use like ai processing to uh, fill it up with whatever is supposed to be behind it now the more complicated the scenario is with a lot of changing things for instance if you if i would have like complete mess of let me just bring up everything right here it's like this mumbled jumbo mess right just also put something like this this right and let's make it a little bit more complicated so there we go if i have something like this uh, as a photo and i try to remove only the iphone right here obviously it would struggle with this because there is so much clutter going around it but uh, if the scenario is a little bit more clean like this for instance right uh, you would remove an iphone and it would just substitute it with a white table without a problem which is a pretty neat feature to have uh, if you just want to crop something unwanted from a photo and it does it pretty well as well like i said it might struggle the more complicated the uh, uh the scene is but with something like easy to easy to blend and uh, easy to define what you're trying to remove it should do a pretty good job now unfortunately i have no way of showing it because like i said it just decided to remove itself so with that being said, this would conclude everything that I wanted to show you. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.